being some weird super version of Zero Mar, who camps. Not only is he the most defensive Yoshi I've ever seen, he may be the most defensive player I've ever seen. And it's just, it's worth bringing up. <laughs> like, more so than Nero, low one. Frosty plays defense, man, and it works. He's very is he good. pushing out the for me tag? <laughs> He's playing, yeah, Rembrandt plays for himself. For himself. I, pretty, I like that. I love it. All right. Dude, this Yoshi looks like regular Yoshi with like a skin problem. Yeah, it's Yoshi. yeah, it just looks like normal Yoshi if you left him out in the sun. It makes you want to touch him. He's like a pruned I touch up Yoshi. It. I want to touch uh, him. No, I don't. No. <laughs> don't touch the Yoshi. <laughs> I got to put this down so I can see. Oh, yeah. Throwing some eggs, man. I like Yoshi's run animation. Dude, Yoshi, I just like looking at him. He is a great, he is a great character. Yoshi is one of the reasons I wanted to play Smash originally when I was like eight. I didn't say, dude, it's a fighting game where you can play all the Nintendo characters. I specifically said, dude, it's a fighting game where you can play as Yoshi. That was my thoughts when I was eight. It's like, Yoshi in a fighting game. Dude, when I, when I ended up meeting Pikachu in that game because of obvious reasons, but. I ended up meeting Link just because I was the only one, I, I, I'm just a huge Legend of Zelda fan, and also, yeah. my thought was like, I can play Link and try and beat up a Pikachu, turns out the Pikachu just beat me up all the time, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. I, I love Zelda and Pokemon and Mario, but for some reason Yoshi was the one I wanted to play, but even my eight-year-old brain could tell that Pikachu was the move if you're trying to win. <laughs> Who did Seth play, or was he not even a not even player born. at all? Seth no, was born when true. Yeah, oh, yeah, Seth was not born when I was eight years old. Seth just He's nine Seth. years younger than me. Did Seth join the scene in Brawl? Is that when he first started playing? Seth didn't join the scene until Smash 4. Really? Seth's uh, first tournament in Smash 4. So he pl he didn't play Smash Bros. at all until it came out for the 3DS. Ah. Two months later, it came out on the Wii U. He went to a tournament that weekend and got ninth out of like 80. Must be nice. Yeah, <laughs> he's, a, he's a psychopath. That's from all those times you'd make him watch you and not talk. I Yeah, I destroyed him in Smash for our whole life. And then he went to the first tournament, and it didn't even occur to me the possibility that he could be better than me at this game. And he was better than me from day one, man. Was that, what was that, what did that feel like? Just pure anger or just happiness for your for your little brother? Or what? I thought it was a, I thought it was a fluke. I thought like, <laughs> well, he must have just got the easier people. It wasn't until like a month and I was like, okay, I guess Seth <laughs> must be better than me. He got the easier people. <laughs> um, and then, uh, also, I made Ganondorf and he made Falcon. So after a few weeks, I was like, I guess Ganondorf just sucks because Seth's doing better than me. And that does make sense. So I switched to also main Falcon, and we both main Falcon for the first year. And he still was doing better than me, and eventually I just had to accept it. I was very, very happy about it. Very happy. I'm serious. Very, very proud of Seth. I love watching him. I pop off when he wins. I've never popped off for my own win ever. Even when I won a Smash Bros, I didn't pop off. But when Seth wins, I, I pop off. Has he been playing a lot of Falcon here? Or is he no. He's supposed to play the Krom, right? No, a Peltina. Okay. He did use Krom and Roy for about a month, but he's a Peltina main. He's back to that. So Zeromar, I think, would be the one that's expected to win. Um, but the seed discrepancy is probably not too big between the two of them. Tried to read a tech in right there, Rembrandt did. Let's take a look here. Rembrandt did very well. He got, I think, 17th place at MSU. And 17th is pretty good out of uh, at a stack tournament like that out of, I think, like 150, maybe more. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, I don't know who showed up last Saturday. I know that they're. Uh, That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, their first weekly busted out 180 or something yeah. silly. Yeah. Friday and night. MSU was uh, not the first weekly, but the first weekly of the school first year. Of the school year. Right? Yeah. I mean. Got lots and lots of entrance, so that's a kind of a hotbed for Smash. If, if you want to talk about their first weekly, though, I remember going to that one too, and I think that one was close to 200 had a, as well. Had it was, a ton. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we had close to 200 at the first weekly, uh, ultimate right. weekly at least up here in right. Smashville. But um, the thing about MSU is that it's it's college towns, lots of like 17, 18 year olds, and also their weeklies are free. That's true, and, and you know what? It, I, I say this, I'm not trying to, to diss on MSU or, or any of the people who come out there too, but yes, they have a lot of people there, but I feel like the, the talent pool is a, about kind of what you get here because while they have yeah. a double the amount of people, it's a lot of people that just like to come out and play for fun. It's free, it's right down the road, they're living in their dorms and say, I, I play Smash, let me just show up and play Friday night before I go to the bars, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Like, and it does I think it, that's fantastic, so actually. So their best players, they actually might be the strongest region in Michigan. I. They're like top, let's say they're top seven or eight. I was going to say it's either going to be them or Ann Arbor. We're going to see soon because they're yeah. about to face off. Well, I mean, Ann Arbor, uh, I could. I, so they're, Ann Arbor's got the best, but the best guy. Yeah, but. that's true. 
I think that uh, seeding wise, or just the sheer numbers, results, and PR ranking, MSU has the advantage. They would be considered sure. better. Um, Daybreak, Goma, Dilster, uh, Dilster, KTE, who's, gonna, who's making his way up. Um, well, if you include if you include alumni, which if you're saying Zenodo for Ann Arbor, then you have to include then that. And then they also have Nebula and Slam and Rayquaza right. and Lou Rich. True. Um, but I guess Rayquaza and Lou Rich aren't there right now, neither Slam. But Nebula is still actually there. I'm just talking about like people who are there in, living in the, the area so, and yeah. playing. Because Zenodo is still living saying, in the Ann Arbor and playing. Instead of saying yeah. MSU, if you just say the Lansing, Lansing scene area. versus Ann Arbor, right. yeah, I think Lansing has it by a small amount. Then you because also have to talk the second about best player in Ann Arbor after Zenodo is PC3X, right, I think? And yeah. PC3X is underneath Goma, Daybreak, and Dilster. Yeah. And That's Daybreak fair. is only one spot underneath Zenodo. So just breaking it like that. But Ann Arbor, by no means, is so far behind that you, you would say that they don't have a chance in the crew battle. They, they, very, they have a good chance. I'd say probably like 60-40 chance in that crew battle. I love this. I love this. Oh, that's going to kill off the top. Yep. Rembrandt, by the way, I didn't mention it. Rembrandt was down by a lot that last game. Ended up getting 0 mark to 50% on his last stock before he actually died. So right. Rembrandt, very good at holding on to the stock. And now that he's at 160, I, I think that's coming into play here again in this first stock. Ooh, he does have a jump. Okay, he air dodged in. <laughs> that's one. It's kind of a in. Uh, what's the word? An inadvertent buff to Yoshi in this game, the air dodge, because he has such. I don't want to say trouble, but if you catch him without a jump off stage, it's really hard for him to recover. Really, it really adds to his recovery. For yeah, sure. absolutely. And so I think uh, the characters that utilize that the most would be Yoshi, Little Mac. And maybe even Ryu, just because he's the one who has no airspeed. Oh, and then same for uh, the Belmonts needed a lot too, because they have no airspeed. But the difference is you can't say that they got that's a buff because they weren't in the last game. Right. Belmonts are they're my favorite to get off stage. To get off stage, yeah. yeah. Just oh yeah. Go off and yep. I don't know where they'd be without the air dodge. Same no. Prom. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if they, if they, oh, Cloud gets a lot out of the air if dodge. If they played too. in Smash Four, they'd be in trouble. Yeah, that's they would. Sure. That really would have a hard time in Smash Four. The Belmonts. Anyway, Yoshi has that air dodge, but, you know, people, yes, he doesn't have the best recovery, quote-unquote, uh, move and jump, but he's got the best, I think. Um, he he's has got, the, he's best. got the best aerial movement speed. He's he has the best aerial speed in, 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 in the, the game. game. And he also does have the best double jump, yeah. especially if you consider the double the, the, the armor, armor on it. The armor on that double jump. Somehow and doesn't get punished right there. The armor on the double jump and then how mobile he is at the very end. When you, when you think all is said and done for him and then he has that dodge left, you're like, are you kidding me? Yeah. How did I put you under the stage and you're still alive? Yeah, adding the air do the directional air dodge on top of the, the up B, which every game gives him more drift than the game before. Yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't have a bad recovery at all. It's just it, he's not in such a bad spot when he gets caught without a jump. Right. The back air doesn't kill. Wow, Rimbrow with the Magnum DI. Nope. You know, I've been waiting to say Magnum DI, and you ruined it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, I, I've been waiting. When, when do I down, wrote that one down in the yeah, car? I wrote <laughs> in my brain like a week ago. I was like, next time somebody survives in the corner, I'm gonna say Magnum DI. Not and bad. you talked through it, man. I talked about. <laughs> I just can't. Yeah, just my bad. It's not a good one. Magnum <laughs> DI is not good. So I, it's I, great. I'm really proud of this, <laughs> the horrible thing. And now that I draw attention to it, it's even worse. So I'm just digging my own grave. <laughs> Rembrandt, gotta find the stock the same way. Oh, he doesn't have a jump! Okay. <laughs> I thought that that was it, man. I get nervous. You care so much about these players. Oh, no, don't die. I get to, I get, I need to, it's funny, if I think of the things I need to improve at, at commentary, not getting so excited is one of them. I am so, I just, I care a lot about Smash in general. It's not, I don't particularly care honestly about either of these two players or Yoshi in specific. Oh, he jumps up and gets hit by the coming down. What? Oh, that was, that was such a so unfortunate. Oh, I feel bad for Rembrandt, man. Zero Mark, great comeback. But no, just Smash in general. I just get Threw excited, man. Out. I just I know so much about the game. I love the game. I've been playing it for so long. So just seeing.